This is Pure. Pure is a weather and graphics mod specifically built for Assetto Corsa and for me it completely changes the way the game looks. With Pure, the game looks so much more realistic and lifelike whether you like to drive at dusk, at night or even during the day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Pure and make your game look as good as mine does. For starters, I should point out that Pure requires that you already have Content Manager and Custom Shaders patch installed, as well as Soul. If you don't have them already, I have a separate video explaining how to download and install them, I'll leave the link in the description. To download Pure, you can Google Assetto Corsa Pure and visit Peter Boes's Patreon page. Again, I'll have the link included down below. I should point out that Pure isn't free though, you need to be a Patreon to download it. You can become a Patreon for as little as $1 though, so it's really inexpensive. And you'll also be supporting these talented modders who make the Assetto Corsa modding community so great. From his page, you can download Pure in two versions, either with normal textures or with the high-res 16K textures. I suggest downloading the high-res textures since any modern PC will be able to handle it. Peter has also included an installation guide, but you don't have to read it since I'll explain how to install Pure in this video. Here I've already downloaded Pure on my desktop. If we open up the archive, you'll see that there's a mods folder inside. All you have to do is simply drag and drop the mods folder to your desktop. As you can see, there's a changelog inside as well as an installation guide. There's also a pure scripting PDF which explains how Pure works. For now, just go into the Pure folder and simply click on Install Pure. A window will pop up asking you to specify your Assetto Corsa root folder. If you don't know how to find your Assetto Corsa root folder, check my Assetto Corsa full guide video where I explain how you can find it. Simply put, the Assetto Corsa root folder lives inside the main Steam folder. From Steam, you go to Steam Apps, Common, and then Assetto Corsa. This is your Assetto Corsa root folder. Then all you have to do is click OK. I'm going to cancel this because I already have Pure installed. Now, if we go back into our main mods folder, you'll see that there's a new baked VAOS folder. If we go inside it and then go inside Extension and VAO Patches, you'll see there are various different files here. These VAO patch files are player created shading files that contain textures which apply to a track to simulate real world channels and lighting effects. Or in other words, you don't have to install this, however these files will make your standard Assetto Corsa tracks much better looking. Installing them is pretty simple, all you have to do is select all of them, then click copy, then you're going to go back into your Assetto Corsa root folder and from here you're going to go into extension, VAL patches and you're going to paste the files here. Now before you delete the mods folder from your desktop since we won't be needing it anymore I need to point out one thing. Inside the pure folder from where we installed pure is an uninstalled pure file that is unexecutable which will come in handy if you ever want to uninstall Pure, so I suggest saving it somewhere. Now, let's open up Content Manager, let's go into Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, and find Weather Effects. From here, you need to make sure that the controller script used is Sol 2.2 and select Pure as your weather script. Then, go into Reflections FX and make sure that the extension is active. You also need to enable these 5 options under General Cube Map Reflections. Then go into GUI and make sure that you're using the new taskbar. Finally, under options, you need to go into Assetto Corsa, video, and with reflections, you need to make sure that rendering frequency is not set to static. You can set it to 1, 2, 3, 4, however many faces per frame you want, but it must not be static. Finally, on the right hand side, under filter, I suggest using pure or pure candy. Now let's just load up Assetto Corsa so I can show you how to customize and adjust Pure. When you're inside Assetto Corsa, go to your apps and open up Pure Config as well as Pro's Pulse filters since we'll need them both. 
I want to point out that Pure has a lot of settings, so if you want to manually adjust them, you're just going to have to experiment with them. Explaining all of them separately would be way too long for this video, and it's already covered by Peter Boese. However, if you want to use my preset for my own Pure config, I'll explain how you can download it at the end of this video. One final thing I need to point out is that filters make a big difference as well. Some filters will allow you to change the exposure. So if you, for instance, want to make a Seto Corsa dimmer, you can do so using the filters exposure or you can change it inside the pure config. I would suggest you're extremely careful with this since not all filters allow you to change the exposure and some filters have different settings. You can see that if I change filters, for instance, the GJG filter or even the NFS 2015 filter, the game becomes way too bright and overexposed with my specific pure configuration file. So, if you want to make your game as similar to mine, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this race department page and you're going to download this mod. This isn't really a mod, it's simply my own pure configuration file as well as the custom shaders patch and the video presets that I use. Once you have the mod downloaded, simply open up the SPR installation guide PDF. Now, as the guide says, go inside the mods folder and then extract the extension folder inside into your Assetto Corsa root folder. I should mention that this will overwrite your existing pure configuration file, so if you want to save it, make sure you back it up first. Then, you need to visit these two links that are provided in the PDF file. These will open up your content manager and they will change your Seto Corsa video and CSP settings to match mine. I suggest clicking apply and save to the both of them so that you always have it as a backup. I should point out that I use 2560 by 1440p as my resolution, so if you want to change your resolution, you can do so by going to video settings and then setting it to 1920 by 1080 or whatever your screen resolution is. After that, you need to change the filter to be pure or pure candy if it isn't set up already. I specifically set this mod up to look good with these two filters, mainly pure. I should point out that I run my settings maxed out and pretty aggressive. If these settings are too much for you, I suggest going to video and turning down some of the settings from maximum to medium or low. Finally, I should point out that I have raindrops disabled for chase cam since I often record videos. When drifting in the rain, the raindrops can almost make it impossible to see. So, if you want to enable them, you need to go into settings, custom shaders patch, then into rain FX, and then change the chase camera to be either large or small drops depending on your preference, and you can then do the same for the frame camera if you want to have drops enabled when using the free camera. That's it for this video, if you like this video guys, please leave a like and subscribe, I'll have more tutorials coming up soon, as well as driving videos.